Hey everyone, Namaste. My name is Sahara, the Kid, the Toy God, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be speculating and discussing about the latest preview for the next episode, which is the 61st episode of the Pokemon anime, as well as the special preview that aired along with the 60th episode. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment your opinions below, and with that out of the way, roll the intro. Now the latest preview for the next episode which is the 61st episode seems kind of uh, boring, I don't know. Well, it does include a Plusle and a Minon, the last time we saw them both together was in Diamond and Pearl, so does this mean that we are going to get Diamond and Pearl tie-ins? No, it's just a Kanto episode again. We are going to have Plusle and Minon as handyman who are going to fix some sort of a plumbing issue in the lab, I don't know. Why is the anime trying to be more funny and wants to do episodes like these? Episodes like sleepover parties, episodes which involve plumbing activities, episodes like these and all. Judging by whatever the preview has shown us, it looks like a complete... <laughs> Thank you Pietro. Minen does have some issues with plus some personality issues but I assure you by the end of the episode they both will reunite and one thing I do want to point out is that when the director said that Grookey is going to have a main part in the anime. I didn't expect Grookey to be more like a Pikachu for Go. Grookey is showing up everywhere. Grookey is going to be everywhere, I think. For the next 10 episodes or so, I think Grookey is going to be the Pikachu for Go. And I, I don't I don't feel anything wrong. I don't feel wrong about it. But yeah, like every other fan, I do wish that Grookey belonged to Ash. But Whatever we are getting is good. We get the same shots in the special preview as well for the Plusle and Minen episode and as, I, as Pietro said, it is going to be a filler. Later in the special preview, we get to see a screen reading the words Toshite, which, mean, which in Japanese means and now, which implies that whatever happens in the future is going to happen in the future. So we get to see our boy and I think the whole Pokemon community is happy about this we're finally getting screen time for dracovish i think the writers are finally acknowledging that dracovish exists and we are getting dracovish and pikachu on a water slide along with grookey and goes dugong on the same water slide and chloe zv and some random vaporeon i can't say whose vaporeon this is People are saying that it could be Lana's Vaporeon, people are saying it could be Misty, Misty's Vaporeon, people are saying that Go is going to catch a Vaporeon, but I think it's going to be a random trainer's Vaporeon or a water park's Vaporeon, I don't know. Let's see what happens with the Vaporeon thing. What I am excited is about Dracovish's appearance in the next episodes, and I hope that the writers give Dracovish a proper story and a proper uh, arc and proper screen time as well. We then see Glalie, which definitely is not Ash's Glalie and it looks like Go is going to catch it. We saw something about this in this Love is a Psyduck episode where Go wants to catch an ice type. So they are heading, uh, they're heading to catch some ice types. The ice type cave which Go wants to go into looks something like Shoal Cave. Shoal Cave, if you don't know, is a cave in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire as well. It is a special cave where in the morning it depends on the tide if it's a low tide you get to go to the cave with a different map and if it's a high tide you get to go into the cave with another different map it depending on the tide you also encounter the wild pokemon so uh, you can get glalie and sfeel in that cave that's where i got my wall rain and glalie so i think go is going to catch a snorunt or a glalie or a or a sfeel or a celio or a wall rain but I, genuinely, but I genuinely want Ash to catch a uh, Walrein as I discussed in my prediction video. In another shot of the preview, we see Go with a Drizzile which happens to disobey Go's commands. This only has two options or two meanings. One and the most likely being Go's Sobble eventually evolving into a Drizzile and later disobeying Go's commands. Just like what happened with Reboot. 
and i think this is more likely because the gala starters seem to follow this trend of being edgy teenage evolution evolutionary forms i mean look at the three gala starters middle stage forms they look like some edgy sassy teenagers so this is a possibility and i think the writers will choose to do the same when grookey evolves into a twacky who knows but i think the writers are following this part however i also have another option uh, an underrated option and less likely one this could be a similar situation with what happened with may in the advanced generation series where everyone thought that may's torchic evolved into a cumbuskin when in reality it was just a cumbuskin from the lab it was just a torchic from the lab, lab that evolved into a cumbuskin and may's torchic was just as same as a torchic that was prior to its eventual evolution in a later episode but in that episode it was still a torchic and everyone was confused as to whether this cumbuskin was actually may's and they were all trying ways to cover it up and max was worried that his sister would freak out when she sees that torchic evolved into a cumber skin i don't know if the writers will bring back this story let me it, it was a fun episode the long ago i watched this episode when i was a kid and i liked the storyline of it so if they try to do the same here i wouldn't be i, I wouldn't be surprised but i would be hell excited and a lot of people won't see this coming as well but as the series is going and given the series is uh, episodic nature i think sobel will evolve into a drizzle in this episode and sobel uh, drizzle will continue to disobey goes commands like reboot another shot shows an absol now people are going wild over this as well thinking that ash can capture an absol or go will i would likely put my bets on go because whatever is happening in the series it's most likely that go will capture it however if ash does capture it it would be internet breaking i did consider absol in my prediction video but i dropped it because i didn't think it suited ash's personality however it i may be wrong and ash can capture this absol but let's just not put our hopes up and let's just not put our expectations high let's keep it as low as possible and let go capture it i can't speak anything other than that and in the final shot of the preview we see goes dugong simping for another wild or a trainer's gorebis just like how we all simp for our one sided crushes now judging by whatever's happening in the preview we get to see a lot of hoenn pokemon in this preview plusel and minen absol gorebis glady possibly shoal cave so we are going to get a dedicated hoenn journeys arc and if that is true then we are going to get a sino arc later and a galar arc later and a unova arc kalos arc alola arc maybe alola is too soon but alola arc as well we don't know what's going to happen as of now but i want ash to get a new pokemon in the coming episodes and and i want ash's draco wish to get more screen time i want ash to do more battling i want to see ash lose and then win again because that's how we should get this anime progressing as should lose so that we can expect him to win uh, that's that's my expectations for this uh, upcoming 10 episodes i know that all of them are not going to happen some will be let downs hence put your expectations as down as possible as low as possible and let's hope for the best as well i think that wraps up the video if you like this video please leave a like subscribe if you're new comment your opinions below and until next time come on masters namaste